Hi, it's Karen at RT Systems. And I'm going to talk to you today about the Kenwood TS-890. Yes, that wonderful big HF radio. And someone wrote in and asked about a feature on that radio called Auto Mode and explained how in the radio it's such a nightmare to set those fields up and then you can't really edit them. It's just not very friendly in the radio, although it's a really useful function. So this is the 890 programmer, and this is what we ended up with. Under Settings, Radio Menu Settings, Auto Mode. And here are my divisions. And I start with the frequency. And it sets up the limits for me. And I go with another frequency. And I go with another frequency. And I go with another frequency. And I'm going to make this one 1 1.555. And notice the programmer resorts them for me. And what if that was a mistake? Let's go right back up here. And I back out of it and I hit enter, and it goes away. Really cool, right? And if I send that to the radio, that one would have been taken out of the list if I had already sent it. Now, as far as modes, I come down through here, and I can pick anything that the radio does. And you'll forgive me, I don't do HF, so I am just picking for principle. I will leave it to you to pick properly. And again, notice now this one jumped all the way up here. It did take the FM with it. So I'm going to reset that just that quick and easily to what I want it to be. And whoops, I picked the wrong thing. So let's pick again. I'm going to save this up. File. Save. It saves it all up. And then communications and send data to radio. And I want to tell you something about that. The website offers two different cables for this radio. One of them is a standard USB A to B cable, just like any printer cable, just like one you can get at Walmart or Staples or Office Depot. So they're easily available. It will do your cat commands. And it will do programming. So you have a choice of that or the USB 63 cable that RT Systems has sold for years to go with this radio. Your choice. So I do communications and send data to radio. And I can just send the menus to send, save a little time and tell it OK. Now, if I'm using the USB A to B cable, I'm using the electronics and the radio, and those are based on Silicon Labs, and it sets up two COM ports. There's no way to know which of these two it's using for programming other than one will work and the other will not. I wish it were more graceful than that, but it's not. I happen to know mine is the higher one. having to do some checking in the background. That's what takes it a bit to get started. So this is in the radio, and we're going to go look at the radio now. So on the radio, this starts with the menu button. I now have the menu, and what I have is right here, auto mode. 
If I don't, I press the bottom button and notice how that menu changes back and forth between two sets of selections. I want the one that says auto mode and there's auto mode. This is what I programmed into the radio. Unfortunately, you can't see the first one. It's 52.500. And then it's one point it's one four fifty dot for the next one. And it comes on up through the bands. They're in order here, just like they're in order in the programmer. So if I make a change here. And I copy and it inserted it right into the list. And I go, Trat, I didn't want that. To change it on the radio requires a lot of coming and going and you almost can't get rid of it. We're going to come back the other way. We're going to get data from the radio. And we're going to look at that auto mode screen. And here's that extra one I put in in upper sideband. And if I don't want it, or I wanted it to be 26.325, now it's what I wanted it to be. Close, apply changes in close, communications, send data to radio. And as I said, I get a kick out of Kenwood radios because they talk to me all the time. And now we have that 26.325 frequency. All changed, all ready to use. This is what we've added new. We hope you find it useful. And remember, if you think you can, or you think you can't, you're right. 73s.